see that? It's like black on black. There, nude sticks. Yep, I have exactly the same one. <laughs> okay, so I can actually swatch it for you guys and keep this one for um, Evie. Okay. This is Jen. Is Sleepy squirrels. I hope that you're all well. This evening I am unboxing this glossy box. And I'm pretty happy because they didn't stick my address sticker on here. So I have all these little um, logos to trace around. And it's all nice. So, before we get into the unboxing, I'm just going to spend a few minutes making some sleepy cardboard sounds. If you just want to see what's inside the products and stuff, feel free to skip ahead. Timestamps are down below. Otherwise, So now that we are hopefully nice and relaxed, let's have a little look. 
Um, first thing I noticed is the smell of soap. So that's not great for me. I'm not a fan of soap, but maybe I'm mistaken. <laughs> but I can smell soap. I don't know. Let's turn this little magazine card here. Après chic. So I guess that's like après ski. Like after ski, after chic. if you want to scan it to have a look at the magazine at the same time. There we go. The magazine looks pretty after ski like. Okay, let's have a little peek at the products before we look at the products in the magazine. Little ribbon. I still keep these ribbons for my daughter. She wants to use them in sewing projects. <laughs> so I recognize a few things. The This shampoo, I've seen that before. The little by Terry CC cream, I have one of those. This, I think is an eyeshadow or a lip crayon, I'm not sure. That looks like an eye mask. I don't know the brand. And this, something you do with exfoliating your body, I have no idea what that is. <laughs> okay, so. Let me just pop this to the side and let's look at everything one by one. I'm actually going to start keeping all of the boxes and packaging. Now that I have an eBay selling business, I might need to protect some stuff. So I'm going to save all this stuff. They do some triggers first, though. The tissue paper is usually way too crinkly for my microphone, but these ones are handling it quite well, as long as I don't, like, don't get too close. Seems to be okay. I get too close. And that's still okay, but I can just barely move. See it on the dark blanket. Can you see it now? I feel like this would even be better, more intense, like closer. shade, to be honest. Like, okay, let's 
So that might be okay for me actually. It's a little pinker than um, than it looks on the on the pencil. I wonder if I should move my mics closer or when I'm doing the sound so that the, the stuff is on the camera at the same time. I don't know. Okay, so I might get some ease out of that. Now, number two is this Such A One Anti-Pollution uh, Shampoo. So I actually already have this. Um, and I feel like I have not used it, or I did, but it wasn't really good for my hair. Just because I, I, I talk about my hair all the time. <laughs> Um, I have like really reactive scalp and it's really like it's irritated so quickly and it like oils up really quickly and I'm just like I'm over it <laughs> so I'm just like not trying anything for my hair at the moment I'm sticking to um, baby shampoo and Christoph Robin scrub and that's it <laughs> that's the only thing I can do right now while I'm waiting for everything to calm down and stuff Okay, so it's shampoo to help protect the hair and scalp from exposure to pollution. Lather, rinse, nothing crazy. Let's see if we have a little seal. We do. Yay. Okay, so we have a little seal. So I'm going to pop this to the side. And I'm going to um, put that into a little beauty box. That I'm going to sell on eBay something new that I'm trying. Okay, so the next item is this little eye mask set. 111 Skin. I don't know that brand. I've never seen that logo before. Harley Street, London. I like the kind of um, silvery grey packaging there. And they are cryo depuffing eye masks or eye mask. It's singular, even though there are two of them, I think. Dr. Y. Alexandride, MD, Harley Street, London. Okay. Designed to mimic the refreshing effects of cryotherapy. The cryo deep puffing eye mask is a cooling hydrogel base formulated with stimulating actives to depuff and reduce the appearance of dark circles, giving the area an instantly more awakened experience. Yes, please. <laughs> okay, so this is something I will use. Um, I don't have a preferred eye mask type or brand or anything like that. Whenever I put one of these, um, you know, these little slugs that you just put under your eyes, whenever I put these on, I feel great, but I don't feel a huge difference between brands or anything like that. So I'll just pop these into my little collection and just use them as I go. Has anybody used this brand before? I've never seen that before. Okay, next we have the By Terry Brightening CC Serum. And I already have this little tester. This is definitely a tester size. It's deluxe size. <laughs> I love how they call it the deluxe size. It's a tester, guys. Or a travel size. Um... This is actually still 20 euros 85. <laughs> My goodness. For the deluxe size. It's crazy. Okay, number four, Sunny Flash 
rose blanche white rose I wonder if the one that I already have is this um, shade it's got a seal on it yeah let me go check if I already have this exact shade because I feel like it was too dark for me yep I have exactly the same one okay so I can actually swatch it for you guys and keep this one for um, eBay okay so I'm just gonna pop whatever it was like hanging out on the top there because no I already put too much on <laughs> I was I was going I had a good idea to just put what was on the top I went for it <laughs> no. um, so yeah this is too dark for me and it's also like a it's a very serum -y feeling thing glowing base illuminator it's like a CC serum so it's not going to be your CC cream like instead of your foundation you're supposed to put like a touch under your foundation or with your foundation so maybe that's why it's too dark for me okay I'm still gonna put this one on my um, on my eBay and this one I'm gonna keep and maybe <laughs> I should experiment a little with it so I think I'm gonna have to put like a, a bit like this much in with my pompa foundation and I do actually have a foundation that's too light for me so it might actually be a nice little experiment and this is just to give you a glow okay then that's just a mess <laughs> it looks like about like a fake tan or something um, okay so that's cool that's something interesting that I can put into my eBay stuff and then um, it's opened my eyes to that one and made me realize that's not a CC cream, it's a serum to put in with your foundation. So I'm guessing anyway. Does it say anything in the magazine? No, it doesn't. It just talks about it like it's a CC cream. Maybe it is then and it's too dark. I don't know. Do you guys know? you're just used to supposed to use like just a touch and then it's just too dark for me that's it it looks crazy <laughs> okay anyway so this one is in the color sunny flash white rose and it's not for me it has a scent to it as well like a floral scent okay amélioré 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 it's weird. Um, am I right? Smoothing body exfoliant with alpha hydroxy therapy. Specialist skin care for bumpy skin. Oh, I have that. The little bumps on the back of my arm sometimes. Very dry skin, rough skin, and ingrown hairs. Oh, it's actually properly like even for ingrown hairs. Um, contains the unique LAH6 skin hydration complex intensive hydrating retexturizer dermatologist approved that sounds pretty intense it's heavy too so I feel like this is a full size yeah it's a full size and it is 20 euros 45 ameliorate Smoothing body exfoliant gently encourages simultaneous exfoliation above and within the skin's surface. Biodegradable microdermabrasion granules combined with a natural lactic acid speed up skin surface renewal. Together with our unique LAH6 skin hydration complex. This exfoliant instantly sloughs away dead skin cells, hydrates and encourages new healthy cells to the surface. Skin is left feeling softer, smoother and looking, uh, healthier looking, sorry. Clinically proven to increase moisture levels in the skin for up to eight hours. Suitable for all skin types. Do, do, do. Can use it with the lotion if you want more improvement. 
two to three times a week. Oh, you massage it into dry skin before showering or bathing. Leave on the skin for a few minutes to ensure the product la works. To ensure the product works to its optimum before rinsing. Okay, so the exfoliating is happening before you get in the shower on your dry skin. Ugh. That sounds uncomfortable. Yeah, that's a big tube. Cool. That's what I call a full size. Let's see if it has an odor. What does it smell like? Yeah, it smells like kind of pharmacy cream or something. It doesn't really have a specific scent. And you don't see the little microderma abrasion thingies in there. This looks like a white cream of some sort. Look how shiny my hand is. It looks like I put like a, a liquid bronzer or shiny fake tan or something. Okay, this sounds pretty cool. I'm excited about this one. So let's have a little look. We have five very different products here. Interesting. So, the lipstick, I will give it a try. I like the look of the colour. The more I've got it with me, the more I like it. I think I was just like, this nude is too nude, you know? But it's really not like that. It's a lot pinker. Like more rosy, dusky rose colour. Then we have the shampoo, which is going into the eBay um, box thing. Then we have some eye masks. Looking forward to that. The CC serum, which I used <laughs> the wrong way. So that's cool. That's going in the eBay thing. That's pretty nice. And then this, which I'm looking forward to. I like the fact that you do it on dry skin. Maybe that's why it looks like a cream. So it's not too uncomfortable. It's like a cream consistency, maybe. I don't know. Can use it all over you. Like it's a full body kind of thing. I wouldn't put it on my face for sure, but... Yeah, it doesn't say that you can't put it anywhere. I would maybe just use it on my legs the first time just to see. And maybe the back of my arms or something. Okay. So. I am going to leave video here for this evening. Let's zoom out a little. A touch. Squish all these in together so I can trace on this blanket. So I hope that you enjoy this video. That you found it relaxing. Maybe a little interesting to see what was in the glossy box for February. The après ski. Is it après ski? No, après chic. <laughs> so, I hope that every single one of my sleepy squirrels are well. Wherever you are in the world whatever's happening around you, I hope that you can find your own little bubble of calm. For example, if you are in Brussels, Like my lovely, lovely patron, Milana. Hey, Milana. Hope you're well. Thank you for all your lovely support. And I hope that you all have a lovely, lovely evening. And I'll see you next time.